back, ladies and gentlemen, to another very exciting episode of P.T. Collins Plays Super Mario RPG The Legend of the Seven Stars. In the last episode, we were on our way to the sea so that we could find a sunken ship. I, uh, I left off without saving, but just so you guys know, I did save. I used this box right here. It's only one room away, and this is the only real purpose that this room serves in the... Uh, in its entire existence, I guess. Uh, we already bought stuff from him in the last episode before I cut off. Um, it's been a few days since I've played this game. Um, I keep saying, um, that won't get on anyone's nerves at all. So let's carry on and find this stupid boat. Uh, what's in here? Okay, there's a star power star thing inside this box I'm standing on top of. And it's gonna help us get a few level ups, so let's go and, uh... Level up our characters right now. Seems like a pretty great idea. Kill you, kill you, run through here, get a couple more kills. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, okay, I guess it ran out. Alright, level 11, not bad. Oh yeah, look at those stats. We are definitely getting somewhere in this game. We're only at level 11, by the way, just looking at those stats. You can definitely tell that this game's peak, uh, level peak, that is is only at 30, so yeah, these guys are pretty powerful for where they are currently at. Wow, Bowser. Okay, let's work on your magic attack. Yep. And Gino, level 10. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll work with your special magic maneuvers as well, and that was it. All right. Continuing on fourth, let's uh, get into a random encounter battle thing that's not really random at all with these guys. We got a few new enemies. Uh, common sense, there are some enemies down here, and what I mean by common sense, well, you are Mallow, that means you have electricity, you're fighting sea creatures, what do things that live in the water hate the most? Electricity, but mostly because it will probably kill you, except for the jellyfish. Those things aren't so easy to kill with electricity because the whole thing with jellyfish being electric, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure if that's true, I'm pretty sure it's not. See, zero. Damage done on the jellyfish. Oh man, I should have uh, looked at the name of the jellyfish. We've already seen the uh, the starfish. And when I said two new character or two new enemies, not characters, I uh, definitely did not mean that. And holy crap, they are kicking my ass! Wow! Oh my god! What move were they using? I was not paying any attention. Um, pick me up, please! Wow! I should have used that on Mario. Crap. Um, oh no, don't use it again. Bolt. Okay, that's... That's normal. That won't do too much. Okay. Bolt. Okay, good. Oh, man. I don't know what move that was, but it was just kicking my ass. And their name is Lyoku. 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 Excuse me if I'm getting that completely wrong. <laughs> wow, how much HP do these guys have as well? They are just ripping me to pieces right now. I mean, it's not even funny. Alright, you missed. Good. I got lucky. Womp Love. 88. Come on, die. Oh, no. 106. Okay, that's one down. Good. Bolt. Not that big of a threat. I should probably use one of my moves to uh, revive Mario, but eh, he'll be fine. He'll be fine, unless he uses that move. Okay, good. He, they uh, seem to only be using Bolt. I don't know if it's the fact that I use electricity on them or something that kind of made them go on a rampant move or something. I'm not sure. Either way, it hurt my Kel, and it knocked two of my characters out of three the fuck out. Excuse my language, by the way, if you guys are offended by language such as that. Uh, I do apologize. It happens. Get over it. Uh, Malo, level 11. Sweet. Um, yeah, you're pretty pretty good, except for your health. Your HP is pretty bad. So let's work with your HP. 65 to 69. Giggity. Uh, Toadstool at level 10. All right. Mm, your defense is crap, so... We'll work with that. And I think that's all of, the, of uh, the characters I currently have. Uh, I don't know. Let's use an, an item, yeah. One out of 78, definitely. Use this mushroom, because it's kind of useless. 
uh, mid mushroom line Bowser. Uh, we'll go back a screen or two, my bad, and we'll use special. Have Malo heal up Mario the rest of the way. Because I'm a good guy. Alright. I'm not sure if I want to fight any more of these guys. They really worked a number on me. I mean, that was almost tragic. Um, let's see. Uh, 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 status. 187, 212, 162, 120. Wow, Gino, really? You're that easy to uh, level up, huh? Okay. Well, let's, uh... We'll do one more and just see what the outcome is. Okay, new enemy! Again! We have the... Bluebird. Not Blooper. Bluebird. Because that makes such a difference. <laughs> it's unbelievable how big of a difference that is. Thunderbolt on them, because I'm pretty sure Blooper will be hurt by it. Yep, he was. Good. And he burrows underground, pops up, and does whatever the hell that is. Luckily, it did not hit me, so I'm not going to complain too much about it. 112 HP, wow. Very easy battle. Okay. Got a honey syrup and 11, I think it was, coins. Didn't see the number for EXP. Alright, good combination. I'm liking this battle setup right now. Electrocute him. Let him attack. Hopefully he'll miss. Or just do nothing to me at all. And then we'll hit him with a hammer. And he dies. Okay, maybe we can keep this going on and not get attacked by jellyfish, but with my luck, I'll get my ass completely handed to me. Okay, 11 experience, 6 coins, and another honey syrup, so yeah. I'll go ahead and use one of those right now, speaking of honey syrups. Because they are the weakest of the weak. And continuing on, one last fight. Alright, perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. Oh, I didn't double tap. Crap. Man. 7 HP. Okay, it's not that bad. Uh, yeah. We'll take this guy out first. Because I'm pretty sure the jellyfish are the least threatening thing we have right now. And I got a lucky! Alright. Because I'm excited about that. By the way, that's uh, Bowser's new move that we just got in the last episode. His uh, new weapon, should I say. I did not see what that attack was. I think it poisoned me. That's about it, so no big deal. And here we go. 11 and 6, and my lucky. Ooh. Double my coins. Well, I don't need coins. I'm not gonna do that one. If it were experience, it would be a different story. Alright, new part in the map here. Let's see. Any secrets? Doesn't look like it. Except for the one over here. That ripped my eye. Sorry right about that. Not sure if you guys even noticed that. Probably did not. See those bubbles going up? And jump out of the water and get yourself a max mushroom. Oh yeah. Uh, if you guys can't figure out what that is, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's a max mushroom. And uh, I think... Oops, didn't mean to go back in. Okay, come back out here. And let's dive in fight these two guys, because there's two of them. Bloopers, not bloopers. Alright, another new enemy. We now have Krusty the Crab. Who, in my opinion, should probably sue Spongebob Squarepants, because the only thing that's really different about that is the fact that it's spelt with a C and not a K, like Mr. Krabs from Spongebob. Double tap. There we go. And this should be an overall easy battle the rest of the way, depending on what Mr. Krabs decides he wants to do to me. Hopefully he'll just sell me a Krabby Patty. Puns. Puns everywhere. Oh my god. It's insane. 18. Oh wow, that was easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> I do like uh, Bowser's attack there, his new one. Oh, he actually picks up Mario and throws him, but Mario was somehow still just sitting there watching the entire thing happen. Especially when uh, Mario has a status effect on him, or if he's uh, knocked out. He'll use his attack, but Mario somehow shrinks down to the size of... He, he just shrinks in size, and it's just... it's weird. 
Definitely not what you would expect. Three bloopers, 120 HP each, and miss. Five damage, damn. Miss. Zero, okay, that's good. And miss. Seven. <laughs> Come on. Hit you with a hammer, knock you out. Get lucky, giggity. Uh, how about you? Knock you out. Another lucky. I'm only going to be able to use one, I think. And we'll knock you out. And let me guess, the, uh, the lucky is for coins, isn't it? I got zero coins. <laughs> okay, what's the lucky for? Okay, for it's for a, uh, wow, stuttered experience. So I'll do this one. Uh, where's Yoshi? Damn! <laughs> okay, so I messed that up. I still got the same amount, I believe. So I think this is definitely your sunken ship. It's really not much of a ship. What did I hit? There was nothing there. Oh, the bubbles. Okay, that sucked. Just go back down. But, uh, yeah, the ship is definitely buried underground in the ocean, so, yeah, here we are on the top of the ship on its sails. Let's go and, uh, check out what's actually in here. Let's, let's read this piece of paper. Read it. Come on, read. No. There we go. Okay, there's a page from a travel log. Let's take a look at it. We're done for. A giant squid just got a hold of us. This ship is going down fast. Okay, well that sounds like it sucks a lot, but uh, we'll explore the uh, the rest of the inside of this ship in the next episode. So until then, this is P.T. Collins. See you guys later.